Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video. And in this tutorial video, we will look at uh, ClickSense um, auto number function. So this function, as the definition says, that uh, this is a script function which returns a unique integer value for each distinct evaluated value of expression. That's the main thing that each distinct evaluated value of expression and I will show you in a minute uh, how to interpret this in with the help of the data. Um, so each evaluated value of expression encountered during the script execution. This function can be used for example for creating a compact memory representation of a complex key. Alright, so what that means? Well, here is a data related to this and we have data for region, year, month and sales. And let's say we want to create a key which is based on the region, year and month. So for example, North 2014 May, North 2014 May. So if we combine these three values should give us one particular number that is related to this combination. And since it, there is a duplicate combination, so it will have like two, two values which is similar to each other like 1 and 1. And then second value to this, third value to this, fourth value to this and finally fourth value to this because they are identical to each other. So if that is our requirement to create a complex key and assign it a number, then we can use the auto number function. So what we want is... We will, with the help of the preceding load, we will going to create an auto number. So we will call it um, since it is a regional sales. So regional underscore sales, and uh, we will say load. All right, should come down. All right, why it is on? Let me press enter. Load and uh, everything. So what it means, whatever, uh, all of these columns and data. So that is what star means over here. And then the auto number. So auto number, which is based on region, year and month. So it's sort of a complex expression or a complex key. That's what it referred. It was referred in the definition region M percent year M percent month. So that is basically the representation of a complex key. And uh, yes, that's pretty much it. We will call it as uh, RYM. That means region, year, month, key. Just so that we remember it. So it's a form of a preceding load which says that uh, along with every column and value which is the table below to this current load, take that along with give a auto number to the uh, to this table based on the region year and month so let's hit save and uh, let's load the data so region year month sales and then this i'm just hoping that there is no other table which is in the previously used examples so let's create a table over here and let's get the rmy key so one, two, three, four. Let's add one more column, which is region. And add one more column, region, year, right? Um, add one more column, month. Region, year, month. So what is that? Region, year, month. And finally, the sales number. Um, so select this table add one more dimension to it and call it like sales so here is our table and as i was referring the two ones have been given to the first two rows since they are identical when you evaluate the region year and month and then second is given to the third row and for fourth row the key is given third and then finally to the last two rows value 4 is given to the key which is based on south 2013 and may because these two values are identical so if this is your requirement auto number is your function to solve that particular scenario or suppose you want to create a join based on this type of a condition where you want to give the same key to 
to to scenarios like where you have the same data set in diff two different rows then you need to use this function so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can create a key like this uh, with the help of auto number function uh, for the purpose of uh, creating your data model so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic